of anything which could enable the continued existence of this company because the reparations this company owes. Shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. People in this country are paying very high energy bills and they've shot way up. Meanwhile, Shell is making billions and billions and billions of pounds and uh, executives are paid an uh, insane amount of money. And there are some people in this country who can't believe it, who cannot afford to eat. I mean, this is one of the richest countries in the world, but there are people who are struggling to get food for their family. Uh, meanwhile, you've got these billion trillionaires or whatever. Um, and so we come out to uh, protest about Shell, but fossil fuels in general, really. Shell is continuing to drill new oil and gas fields here in the UK and around the world in some of the uh, most biodiverse regions in the Philippines and in the Niger Delta, despite their own internal scenarios saying that continuing new oil and gas expansion will push, push us off a 1.5 degree cliff, which will just push us more towards extinction and climate catastrophe. So we're here to say business as usual cannot continue and we're going to shut you down. When we talk about the cost of living crisis in the UK, that's being driven by the same dominant, extractive economic paradigm of neoliberal capitalism that is driving Shell to uh, uh, Exxon, Total, to exploit the natural resources of this earth in these countries. They're, they're one and the same thing, and that's why we stand here in solidarity with, with working class peoples all over the world, with affected communities all over the world, who, who sit in, at, the, at the intersections of these uh, uh, power structures that are exploiting and dominating them.